Hey Taurus, welcome to your love reading for the end of February. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Taurus, this has to be an actual connection you have with somebody. Uh, you don't necessarily have to be together, but you definitely have to know each other in some way. So uh, you could be separated together, dating, just like each other, whatever your situation is. We'll see what the connection is between the two of you. So welcome in, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, let's see what's going on for Taurus at this time. I do say at this time because I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, links are below in the description box to your general playlist and your love playlist, along with decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to donate or send a gift, all that information is below. All right. So Taurus, 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 hope you're all doing well. Let's see. Um, this will be out before Valentine's Day, so it is for any time, but uh, happy Valentine's Day anyway. So let's see for Taurus is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign element or planet. Let's see if you don't resonate with this part, then that's totally fine. As always, only take what resonates and throw away the rest. And you can switch and flip-flop the energies and any time during this reading. If it's not making sense, it's not your reading, so don't try to make it fit. I'm feeling like that one. What do we have here? We have Jupiter, which is Sagittarius energy. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or um, maybe they have it in their chart in some way, but it uh, doesn't have to be. So Jupiter energy though is the energy of um, luck, expansion, faith, optimism, spirituality, joy, and prosperity. So a lot of good energy there with uh, the energy of Jupiter. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. All right, so with this deck here, Taurus, I will pull in, first thing I'll just pull an overall energy between you and your person at this time, and then I'll pull one for you, one for them, energy uh, about each, how you feel about each other and the connection, and then we'll clarify those energies with the tarot, and then we'll look at the actual situation, uh, advice for the actual situation along with possible outcome of the situation, of the connection, and then we'll have um, extra messages at the end with the angel answers, so... Let's see what's going on for Taurus in love, the end of February. What is the energy like between Taurus, their person, who are they thinking of at this time? What is the connection energy like between Taurus and their person at this time, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. And that one. And we have Seek. So this is the, I believe that is the um, Hermit. I believe that's the hermit. So, you know, uh, that's about, it's usually about going, um, going and doing uh, introspective work and um, spending time alone, thinking, contemplating, healing, finding your way, your path, your light kind of energy. Or you could be just seeking, seeking that person. I don't know. We'll see. So let's get one. I'm going to put you here, Taurus, and your person there. But again, I've been getting a lot of um, complaints that I they viewers find it hard to understand when I say this side, that side. They want to know that, okay, this is you, that's them. But you may not resonate with the sign, the side I say is you. So again, like I say, flip and switch the energies all throughout the reading. You know, if you feel like that's you, that's them, then switch it. That's how it works. But I will say this is you and that is them. So... All right, Taurus, Taurus, an energy for Taurus about this connection, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, we got one, and one for their person, whoever they're thinking about at this time. Shine. So we have the sun energy here. So you're feeling uh, the sun is a very good energy here. It's about uh, happiest, happiest card in the deck. Maybe you're just really shining right now. You're happy, you're victorious, you know, you're um, stable, you're structured. You know, that's happiness, joy, victory, enlightenment, healing energy, um, happy home and family, just feeling in a high vibration, just like shining your light out into the world. Wow, let's see what your person has. So they have the solar plexus chakra. So that's about, you know, and that's three. So that's about... Um, Solar plexus is all about, you know, their identity, who they are, their soul mission, their soul purpose, 
uh, the fire in their belly, what makes them tick, who they are kind of energy, what they want in life. Hmm, okay. I feel like they want you. They see you as the sun energy. It's like you're shining your light and they see that and it like lights their soul up. And you both may have been seeking for something and here it is. So I don't know, we'll see. So at the bottom here we have Blossom. So this is the uh, Judgment card. So this is about resurrection, forgiveness, healing energy, coming back together, or just making a final judgment call. But this is also says blossom, so something could be blossoming here between the two of you. Making a conscious choice to, because the sun shines and blossoms the world. <clears throat> and you see all this uh, greenery here. Wow, I'm getting like a really peaceful, happy kind of energy, you know, and the Jupiter energy is all about that um, joy and prosperity. And that's kind of what I'm getting. Like this could be something new. Maybe you were both seeking, you know, when am I going to find my person? Maybe you're dating or doing online dating or something here, like really seeking your person because nine can be like wanting your wish fulfillment. It's also a single energy. And then I just noticed here 1920, so it's progression. So we have 18, 19, 20. We have three, two, three. Wow. <laughs> I'm just seeing like progression going, you know. So wow, this could definitely be a new connection for some of you. And you're wondering, where is this going to go? And it's feeling really good right now. And maybe you're feeling, you know, is this too good to be true? You're kind of like ra raising up in a high vibration, like floating on cloud nine and like and that could be you know floating on cloud nine like this just feels too good to be true what's blossoming here and you're wondering you know what's gonna happen what's gonna happen okay taurus let's see totally a uh, different reading from the first half of um, february i did uh, so that might have been for a whole other group of people and this reading may be for a whole other group of people so all right so why does Taurus have shine here. So wow, so we have the lovers and we have the two of pentacles. So <laughs> wow, so you know, the lovers here, two of pentacles. So two of pentacles like juggling things around, trying to balance out your energy. Lovers about making a decision. You know, do I want to uh move forward in this love connection here? You're feeling very good about it. You're feeling in that high vibration of the sun energy. But I think with the two of pentacle energy is that energy of like, I think maybe you go back and forth in your head like, oh, this is just too good to be true. I don't know. Is this real? Um, it's probably not going to last kind of energy. But you definitely have the lovers here, which is a soulmate energy. Wow. Okay. So let's see. Why does your person have the solar plexus chakra here? Somebody who I feel like is really in tune, in touch with who they are, what they want in life. What's their soul mission, their drive, their purpose uh, in life? I feel like they're very in tune and touch with that kind of energy. So let's get a couple here for your person. I am feeling those two. So we have the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles energy. Hmm. So the Four of Cups is about being kind of like blah, complacent, bored, um, worried about a love offer, giving or sending or receiving or whatever. Then the four of pentacles about, you know, holding on to stability, structure, um, your foundation. So this could be somebody who is just heavily focused on them and their, you know, basis and foundation. Because the four of pentacles is all about, you know, monetary material things. So Especially with the solar plexus, I feel like they were very concentrated on them, their stability, their finances, their career, their drive, their mission, their purpose in life, just very focused, career focused. But yet in love, they were feeling kind of bored and complacent, like nothing, like they were seeking with the four of cups, seeking, you know, something because they were just, you know, blah. And I feel like you, you met this person, you met each other. Um, I don't know how you met. Could have been anything here and now you know you're in the energy like i feel like this is too good to be true all right so 
let's see here. And I do feel the same energy as the sun with the solar plexus. You see the sun there. It's all that yellow energy. So they have the energy of the sun too. So they may be feeling this energy too. Like this is just too good to be true. So what do we have here? The six of swords. So this is going to a better place together. More uh, balanced, harmonious place. This is fate and destiny here. So what, however you met this person that came into your life, if this is a new connection, it was fate, it was destiny, it was meant to be. Something uh, divinely guided. Things will be getting better. Things will be turning in a better direction. As you'll be sailing off together to a peaceful, harmonious, balanced place together. Wow, okay. And that's, and that's under your energy too. So I feel like, you know, you met this person and you're like, oh, this is like, like the universe sent me this person and we're going to a really good place here but yet you have the two of pentacles of juggling things in your head like well maybe this isn't going to last too good to be true kind of energy five of swords yeah so there's that energy of you know do i keep fighting for this or do i walk away or you know is this just gonna is this gonna keep going in a good direction or is it gonna end that's that like five of swords energy like sabotaging yourself almost but we do have the eight of cups here and the star energy so we got the eight of cups so the eight of cups here and that's it falling on their side so it's about you know walking away from something unfulfilling but walking to something more fulfilling so i feel like however they were leading this person was leading their lives they were very unfulfilled and they're like, you know, I got to leave this pattern behind. I need to find me more fulfillment. I need to go and find me my wish fulfillment, my faith, my hope, my destiny, divinely guided energy, divinely guided on their side, divinely guided on your side, something meant to be. But yet you're both in the energy of like, well, this is probably isn't going to last. It's too good to be true. Maybe we should just stop before it gets to that point. That's a five of swords energy is like that self-sabotaging energy. Oh, but <laughs> two energies of going to something more fulfilling, divine timing, guided energy, wish fulfillment here on their side. So I think you both need to get out of that energy of sabotaging the relationship, thinking it's just too good to be true because you've got two majors here of divinely guided. This is something meant to be in your life, divinely guided energy. So don't sabotage it let it be let it blossom all right so what else here let's get some advice for this connection three of cups so let's you know just celebrate go out and have a good time you know celebrate this connection just you know oh that was the page of pentacles there i thought it was the two of pentacles this was the page of pentacles okay because I saw two pentacles there, them juggling, so I thought it was the two, but it was the page. Sorry about that. So this page over here is about a solid offer coming in. So I definitely think you contemplate that solid offer. Again, juggling it back and forth because they're juggling two pentacles. So whatever stable offer, and that could have been this person, or person approaching you or asking you out on a date, you're dating or whatever you're doing or your lovers, whatever here. And I still think with the... Because I first thought it was the two you're juggling this around like it's just too good to be true and here's the energy again here's the real two of pentacles so the advice is here is to stop juggling because right on the five of swords to stop juggling around that mental sabotaging energy of oh it's not going to last it's too good to be true just go out and enjoy it and celebrate it and have a good time with this person for now the empress that you are worthy of this connection this is a breath. This is something new. I definitely feel like it's a new connection. So birth is something new. I mean, the empress can be a mother or have a child, but doesn't have to be. But she knows her value, her worth, the mother of the deck. Highly valuable energy. You are worthy of this connection. Don't think that you're not. The knight of pentacles. So take it slow. Take this connection slow. Don't rush it. You know, just be smart and practical and grounded. Enjoy it don't jug don't overthink it don't you know sabotage it don't jinx it don't do any of that energy with that two of pentacle of going around in your head and juggling all these thoughts in your head just enjoy it for what it is for now just take it slow see where it goes 
and you are worthy and you are worthy of this connection. All right, so let's get possible outcome of this connection, Taurus. What is the possible outcome here? So we got the tower. Mm, okay, let's get a couple more. The Ten of Wands. Let's get one more. One more for Taurus. And the Seven of Cups. Oh, I don't like these cards. So the Tower can be a shake up, break up, break down, or it could be a surprise. It can be an epiphany. Ten of Wands about laying down burdens. It can be an ending, ending something that's really burdensome. But the Seven of Cups is about options. Um, Choices, confusion, daydreamy kind of energy. I kind of want to know why this energy is here for the outcome. So what is the tower? Why is that here? And you do see the sun there. The yeah, We got a matching couple. Wow, the emperor. We had the emperor and now we got the empress. So this definitely could be a twin flame soulmate kind of connection with the emperor and the empress. This might just hit you both like, oh my God, this is such a deep connection. I don't know if I can handle this. And you might decide to end it before it really has a chance to blossom, you know, into its full potential. All right. So why is the Seven of Cups energy here? Why is the Seven of Cups energy here? So now we got the Four of Swords. So that's healing. Thinking, contemplating, retreating, going off alone. I think <laughs> this is, I think could be such a strong or is such a strong, strong connection between the two of you. You feel like it's just going to not last because it's just too mm -hmm. strong. And maybe, I don't want to say codependent or toxic, but maybe, you know, when you have that strong bond with somebody, it becomes like, uh, not addictive, but very intense. So, you know, might have this tower moment. Okay, this is too intense. This is too too much. And decide to go off on your own ways and maybe end it prematurely because of confusion about this. And then need to heal and really think and contemplate about it. But we do have definitely uh, divine masculine, divine feminine. Doesn't matter. Male, male, female, 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 male. Doesn't matter. Uh, definite soulmate energy here. So let's see what's on the bottom. The five of wands. Yeah, feeling conflict or inner conflict about this. Make Trying to make a decision, you know, for the future. What do we do about this connection? Definitely twin flame. And I had felt that. Here's the, um, oh, it's a six of wands, but still reminds me of the four of wands. So this is about um, success and victory kind of energy. But you got the moon, like not knowing where things are going to go. Feeling illusion. Very, very deep feelings here with the moon intuition three of swords so that's a heartbreaking kind of energy so i feel like you're gonna <laughs> i feel like some of you may just end it prematurely which is going to lead to this very uh heartbreaking energy here but there is a lot of love here between the two of you with the queen of cups and wish fulfillment wish fulfillment here with the uh nine of cups happiness and joy a lot of love and emotions and deep feelings but we got the three of swords, so, you know, that's about heartbreak and loss, so you may end up ruining a good thing here uh, because you're so scared of this intense connection. But it can be victorious. You know, there's deep feelings here. You know, listen to your intuition, um, even though you can't see the path clearly, you know, for you, you know, making these decisions, this decision moving forward and that inner conflict of what to do with this connection. So for the other signs besides Sagittarius, we have Virgo, we have Leo, we have Gemini, uh, we have Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Sagittarius, we have Aquarius. The Empress here is um, Libra and Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Aries. And then over here we have uh, Cancer, Pisces. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So those are the other, and then over here again is Scorpio. So those are the other signs I see. So I do feel like this is a heavy, heavy, very intense soulmate twin flame connection. And it's so intense. I think the two of you would be scared of it. And you may feel like, you know, it's just going to end. 
or it may not work out anyway for some reason. You, you may just sabotage it before it even has a chance to blossom into its full potential. Wow. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see here. Let's get some extra messages for you, Taurus. I do ask Taurus, especially if you're new. Um, if you like my channel, you can like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. I do about five readings a month. And a quick shout out. Thank you to all the new subscribers, those who have tipped or donated. Um, those who reached out for personal reading. Thank you. Thank you. All your support really does mean a lot to me. So we have here, ask your angels and it's up to you. So you may need to pray, meditate, listen to your gut, your intuition about this connection. And it's ultimately up to you, the two of you, what you will do with this connection. All right. So, okay. Choose a new direction. All right, let's get, I think some of you will choose a new direction because you think it's just too good to be true. No, and we have no right over choose a new direction. So I'm feeling like, no, you shouldn't prematurely end this because you think it's too good to be true. Because I do feel this is a heavy soulmate energy here. And we did have, uh, we have the nine of cups, but we do have the six of wands there with success and victory. So let's see, let's just see what's at the bottom now. You are ready? So I feel like you're both ready for this connection, but for some reason, I think it may just become either too serious, too fast, or too intense, too quickly, and maybe you just can't, both either can't handle it, or um, you may just, like I said, prematurely terminate it thinking it's just not going to work out anyway, when it does have that potential to go all the way, so... But it's up to you. Okay, Taurus, uh, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.